Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Never compare yourself to anybody, especially as you're on your path of personal growth. You're not everybody else. You're not anybody else. You're just you. If you compare yourself, you know, as you're working out to other people in the gym, the gym that I go to, there's a lot of bodybuilders and people in various shapes and most of them it feels like to be honest most of them are in better shape than me i aspire to be where many of them are right now it's easy when i'm hanging out with people that are in worse shape of me to feel like i'm got big muscles or i'm in pretty good shape but i go to the gym six days a week and it's a reminder i got a long ways to go before i can reach my goal, but I don't compare myself to any of them because I'm not them. I can only compare myself to me. If I want to compare myself to a different physical form, I'll just look at an old picture of me and remind myself of how out of shape I used to be compared to now. And all that does at that point is make me proud. I, you know, hey, I may not be where I want to be, but I'm further than I was. I'm not where I used to be. Thank God. I was in pretty bad shape. So it's just a way to make yourself empowered, motivated, rather than upset. It's just outlook. Because you're the same you. But if you focus on others and comparing yourself to others, it can really bring you down. But if you compare yourself to where you used to be and notice how far you've come, and how hard it was and how uh, much work you've put in. I mean, I've put in a lot of work to be where I am now, even though I'm not where I want to be. And I'm far from being able to sit and pose like some bodybuilder in the mirror with my shirt off. <laughs> but I'm not where I used to be. And that gives me motivation to keep going forward towards my goals. Because if you look at it the other way, if you look at it backwards, if you look at it where you're comparing yourself to others, it can stop you dead in your tracks. That, that's when people say, well, what good is it? I tried. I can't do it. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not getting any bigger. I'm not getting any smaller. I'm not changing. I'm just the same. Sometimes we look at ourselves in a different way than the rest of the world sees us. Sometimes we don't really see ourselves in reality. We're looking through filters. We, we have like a little internal Photoshop, instantaneous Photoshop going on when we see ourselves in the mirror. And you might see yourself as much better or worse. I've seen guys that they think that they're the shit and they're really not. But it can also work against you where you think that you're worse than you really are. You may be thinner than you really think. Not that the scale lies to you, but the mirror may be lying to you. The mirror always lies. You know, I could go down my list of areas where I feel like I'm lacking and I'm far from perfect. And I'm sure you could go down yours also. And if you compare yourself on each note, it does the same thing. It just debilitates you, makes you feel inadequate, makes you feel like you're not really getting anywhere, that you haven't really learned anything, that you haven't grown, but you have. If you're working on yourself, even if it's just one step forward today, and yesterday you did nothing, and today you just did one little thing, that's further than yesterday. Tomorrow you can shoot for two things instead of just one. The next day you can shoot for three things. Pretty soon enough you'll turn around and see, wow, I'm pretty far away from where I used to be. I'm not that same person no more. I've changed. It's important to stay motivated. We, we don't get motivation from other people. We get it from our own discipline and you have to recognize, do a little inventory every once in a while of how far you've come, of how much you've grown of how much you've learned. 
you know, I, I'm currently not in a relationship and that sucks. I look for me, I'd like to be in a relationship, but I'm happy that I have finally learned to love myself. I'm happy that I finally learned to have standards. That I'm building my character in a way that I never have before ever in my life. And I can for the first time say not only am I proud of myself for who I am instead of ashamed of who I am, but I look forward to the future and to growing even more. It's enabled me to help others around me, but I won't lie. I see other people in my life that are married and in happy relationships, and I wish that I had that. And sometimes it makes me feel bad, and I'll just be like, well, damn, man. It's like everybody else is happy in a relationship, and here I am, single. I'm not trying to compare myself to others because that can invite a feeling of like, of lacking as if I'm somehow going without, as if somehow I'm not good enough. Got to squash that kind of bullshit. It, I choose to look at it in a different way. My situation is the same, but I choose to look at it in a more empowering way and realize that I'm no longer choosing dysfunctional dingbat drug addict alcoholic chicks who are go nowhere do nothings dumpy you know out of not even interested in anything intellectual never worked out a day in their lives don't know how to cook don't know how to do anything don't even really like me those are the types of women i used to choose not too long ago i thank god that i've learned to be unattracted to those types I, I would attract those types of people like, like shit does, like flies do to shit. And I, now I've changed and I've realized, wow, I, I'm not go going to go after those types of women anymore. Because it takes two to tango. And I've been tempted and I've resisted those temptations. Whereas before I wouldn't. And I would continue this horrible cycle of really awful relationships, which just destroys me, makes me weaker. So I've conquered that. That was a big deal for me. And, you know, when I look at it in that way, sure, I'm single right now, but at least I'm not with that last one or the one before her or the one before her. I'm going to stop this cycle of bad relationships. I mean, that's epic shit for my, the story of my life. And when I look at it that way, it's incredibly empowering and motivating and makes me excited for the next person that I do meet. I'm going to choose better. I'm going to be better. It's just all about how you look at things. So... You got to switch your focus. You got to change how your outlook is. Take those photo lenses off of your eyes that are blurring your vision or clouding what you think, making you look at things backwards. People who constantly compare themselves to others are constantly miserable because you're not other people and you can always find other people that are more successful than you. Sure, maybe you don't have the place that you want to live. Maybe you don't live in the town you want to live in. These are goals to have. It's wonderful to have goals. You never want to run out of having goals. Be joyful when you find an area that you can improve, that gives you something to do, something worthwhile in your life. Don't compare yourself to anybody but who you were in the past. You're not that guy across the street or the person from work. You're not that perfect body at the gym. You're you, and your motivation can come from your forward progress. It's just all food for thought. I hope somebody got some value out of this. Thanks for watching.